video, I'm going to teach you how to use synthetic division for polynomials. Uh, you can use often synthetic division or long division to divide one polynomial into another. So here we're dealing with synthetic division. We're going to start with an example uh, where I take uh, 2x cubed plus 17x squared plus 40x plus 25. And I'm going to write this as if I wanted to divide it by x plus 5. Now, that's in the format of long division, which is what, what we're not going to use right now. So for synthetic division, we're going to write a bracket that looks similar, but it's upside down. And we're going to take the coefficients from the x cubed, the x squared, the x, and the number. So we're going to have a 2, a 17, a 40, and 25. And then uh, for this x plus 5, we're going to take the 0 that would go with that x plus 5. Now, you need to know what a 0 is. For every linear factor, let's just write this down below. A linear factor is something like x plus 5. It's x to the first plus 5. And uh, every linear factor has a 0. And in a, you can think of that as what would go in here to make that 0. So x plus 5 has a linear factor of negative 5. Um, so I'm going to use the 0 and just write it out front, negative 5. Um, so now what we do to proceed with synthetic division, you take the leading term and you bring it down and you just copy it down. Then you take this number, multiply it times 2, and write it right under the next column, which is under the 17. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And then you add these two together and you get 7. Uh, now negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. You add these together and you get 5. And then negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. Add those together and you get 0. So now I need to understand what those what those uh, terms mean. Uh, we started with an x cubed term. So the next power down, since we knocked this down by one power, is going to be an x squared. So my result is 2x squared, and then we go down one power to 7x, and then plus 5, and this is my remainder of 0. So if you go down here, you could say uh, 2x cubed plus 17x squared plus 40x plus 25 equals x plus 5 times 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. So essentially, this times this equals what we started with. That's how synthetic division works. Uh, we're going to continue with a few more examples. Um, but one comment, the remainder is not always 0. If the remainder is 0, that tells me that this x plus 5 is a nice even factor. So that's why I wrote it down here as this x plus 5 does evenly go into that nice long polynomial. Um, what I want to do is I want to continue with this uh, uh, example, uh, but uh, uh, I'd like to just go ahead and factor uh, this quadratic term uh, just for just for to make uh, just for fun and to have a nice uh, list of all the factors all three factors here, and, and then we'll continue. Uh, just like we've done before, if I want to factor this, we did the 2 times 5 is 10. We got x squared plus 7x plus 10. Uh, and what multiplies would be 10, but adds up to be 7. That would be a 5 and a 2. And uh, to finish the bottoms up, we multiply by 2. So now we divide by 2. And uh, this 2 is going to go up, and 2 over 2 is just 1, so 
the factoring that I'm looking for, we had that x plus 5. But my two new factors are going to be uh, 2x plus 5 and then x plus 1. That is the complete factorization of my cube here. I would write the linear factors here as 2x plus 5 and x plus 1. Those are my three linear factors. And what would go in there, uh, to what makes this 0? Negative 1. And this one's kind of hard. What you put in here to make this 2x plus 5, 0, would be a negative 5 over 2. So these are my three zeros that you would end up with with this particular problem. I'm digressing a little bit here again. Uh, we're trying to focus on synthetic division. So I'm going to do another example now. Okay. x cubed minus 14x plus 8 is right divided by x plus 4. Just like that. Uh, I'm going to start out by writing my synthetic division bracket. Uh, one uh, comment here, this may not turn out even, and that's fine. Uh, I'm going to still write my bracket. Uh, the coefficient of the highest power is 3, so my first coefficient is 1. Uh, a tricky part here, notice that I go from x cubed just to x. I skip x squared. So you've got to put in a 0 to fill that 0x squared spot. Uh, next is a minus 14x and then plus 8. And since this is my linear factor at x plus 4, we use a negative 4. Uh, out front because we always use the zero that goes with the linear factor. Uh, so we're going to just, uh, in just a quick reminder, 1x cubed, 0x squared because there's no x squared, negative 14x plus 8. So bring down your 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Add these together so you get negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Add these up and you get 2. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Add these up and you get 0. So let's fill in our, our what, what these numbers mean. We started with an x cubed. We knocked it down by 1 power. So this is going to be 1x squared. And then minus 4x plus 2. <coughs> and this is a remainder of 0. So that tells me that actually x plus 4 did go in evenly to this polynomial. So you could say x cubed minus 14x plus 8 equals x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 2. Now, this doesn't factor anymore. I'm just going to leave this how it is. I'm not, I, I don't want to focus too much on factoring it all down to the linear factors. I want to focus on the synthetic division, but ultimately long division and synthetic division are both tools that you can use to take a higher degree polynomial and break it down into lower degree polynomials. Uh, let's try one more. Okay. This one looks long and scary, but it actually works out uh, to be not that bad. Um, I'm going to start out by drawing my bracket. 2x to the fourth minus 6x cubed, 1x squared minus 3x minus 3. Since I have x minus 3 here, my 0 is positive 3. Bring the 2 down. 3 times 2 is 6. Add those up and you get 0. 3 times 0 is 0. Add those up and you get 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Add those up and you get 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 
add those up and you get negative three. So now we need to interpret those numbers. We started with a fourth power. We knocked it down by one power. So we're gonna end up with a two x cubed plus zero x squared plus one x plus zero remainder negative three. This one has a remainder. So let's go ahead and rewrite, uh, rewrite this uh, as two x cubed plus x, zero x squared plus zero, and then we're gonna have a plus the remainder. We write it as negative three divided by x minus three. And what you could say is two x to the fourth minus six x cubed plus x squared minus three x minus three equals x minus three times two x cubed plus x, and then plus that remainder. That's how you could write this. Um, so we're gonna do one more example. And uh, uh, that example is gonna be an, uh, me showing you how to take a quadratic divisor and still use synthetic division to, to divide it into a polynomial. Sorry, you can't, can't read that, can you? Try that again. Uh, x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9. And we're going to divide that by x squared minus 9. Um, so you can probably guess that we have three linear factors here. And, uh, and this is a second degree we're going to divide into it. Um, with long division, you can just divide this straight into to anything you want. With synthetic division, you can only divide a linear factor into uh, a polynomial. So this is a quadratic factor. And what you would need to do first is recognize that x squared minus 9 is x plus 3 times x minus three. That's something that you need to recognize in order to, to make this happen. So what you're gonna do basically is you're gonna go and you're gonna say, uh, I'm gonna draw my bracket, one x cubed, uh, one x squared, minus nine x, and minus nine, those are my ones. And instead of trying to divide by this, which won't work, you're going to look at the x plus 3 and the x minus 3 and say my linear factors are going to have the zeros minus 3 and 3. So we'll start with one of those. And uh, bring down your 1. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. Add those up and you get minus 2. Minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. Add those up and you get minus 3. Minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. Add those up and you get zero. So since we knocked this down by one power, we're gonna go from cubed to one x squared minus two x minus three remainder zero. So now we're gonna take that x cubed minus two x minus three and now divide it by the other linear factor. So we're gonna have a one minus two minus three. <coughs> and put a positive three out here and divide it by basically each linear factor zero, once, one, one at a time. So one comes down here, three times one is three, add these up and you get one. Three times one is three, add these up and you get zero. 
So we've gone from an x squared down to a 1x plus 1 remainder 0. So now you could say uh, x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9 is equal to x plus 3 times x minus 3. And then also we get x plus 1 is my final linear factor. So these are my three linear factors. And my zeros would be negative 3, positive 3, and negative 1 to go with those. Uh, so I hope this helps you understand synthetic division uh, a little bit more. Uh, it is a little bit easier than long division from an algebra standpoint. Uh, but also it has its limitations. It can, if you have a, a divisor that's higher than just x plus uh, 3 or x minus 3 or x plus 1, if it's a x squared, you do have to go through this one linear factor at a time, which is kind of, uh, can be kind of time consuming. But uh, both long division and synthetic division do have their uses in one circumstance or